So you no doubt by now know that uh, Matthew Perry is dead. Um, he died a little while back. I'm not sure exactly when I talked about it on the podcast here, but there's some new information about what transpired and how he came to uh, be in possession or didn't say even be possession, how he came to uh, avail himself to the uh, intoxicants that were his demise. I'm going to watch the words I say on this channel. But uh, yeah, this article here is NBC News. Let's see what they have to say about this. Uh, so two doctors in the ketamine queen are charged in the overdose death of actor Matthew Perry. A web of people motivated by greed. Two doctors, a living personal assistant, an acquaintance, and a drug dealer known as the ketamine queen conspired to provide Matthew Perry with the ketamine that caused his accidental overdose death last year, federal authorities announced Thursday. The five individuals have all been charged in connection with Perry's death as his recent or as, as his descent into ketamine addiction deepened last fall, they took advantage of the actor's vulnerable condition to enrich themselves, authorities said. They know what they were doing was wrong. They, they know what they were doing was risking great danger to Mr. Perry, U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada said at a news conference, but they did it anyways. In the end, these defendants are more, or were more interested in profiting off of Mr. Perry than caring for his well-being. Perry, 54, was found face down in the heated end of a pool at his Pacific Palisades home on October 28, 2023. The Los Angeles County Med Medical Examiner's Office attributed his death to the acute effects of ketamine, an aesthetic with psychedelic properties. According to an 18-count an 18 superseding indictment, the events leading to Perry's death began in September when a Santa Monica doctor, Salvador Placencia, I think I said that right, learned that Perry wanted ketamine, Long known as a club drug, it's increasingly used to treat people with depression and other mental health issues, but carries serious medical risks. Placencia reached out to another doctor, Mark Chavez of San Diego, who had owned a ketamine clinic. Soon the two physicians were discussing how much to charge Perry for the drug. This is where it gets a little bit pretty. This is awful. This doesn't look very good. Not a good look for these guys. I wonder how much this moron will pay, Placencia said in a text message to Chavez. Uh, according to the indictment, let's find out. Placencia went on to provide ketamine to Perry and his assistant, Kenneth Iwamasa, Iwamasa, 59. Placencia repeatedly injected Perry with the drug himself and also instructed Iwanasa how to do it, the indictment says. It was like a bad movie, Placencia wrote in a text message to Chavez, Chavez the indictment says. From September until Perry's death in late October, the doctors provided him with about 20 vials of ketamine at a price of 55000 in cash. Thanks. In mid-October, mid Iwamasa sought an additional source of ketamine for his troubled boss. The indictment said he reached out to an acquaintance of Perry's, Eric Fleming, who then reached out to a major underground seller known as the Ketamine Queen. A dual U.S. and U.K. citizen who lived in North Hollywood, Jasveen Sanga, had been selling ketamine and other drugs for years, according to federal prosecutors. She knew that ketamine could be fatal in August 2019, a man overdosed on ketamine provided by Sanga, prosecutor said. Afterward, one of the man's family members sent a text to Sanga. The ketamine you sold my brother killed him, they wrote. It's listed as, as the cause of death. According to prosecutor, Sanga then typed a question into Google. Can ketamine be listed as a cause of death? Well, you got to check. You know. People don't realize that your, uh, your Google uh, searches can be checked. So. She began providing the drugs to Perry through Fleming, and he co coordinated the sales with Iowa Massa. The indictment says, on October 28, Iwamasa injected Perry with at least three shots of ketamine using syringes provided by Placencia, according to the indictment. So Sanga 41 and Placencia 42 were both arrested Thursday in Southern California. They were charged with one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Sanga was also charged with several other, other drug-related offenses. The judge overseeing the case agreed to allow the non-controlled substance part of Placencia's practice to remain open if he posts a note at his office explaining the charges. That's <laughs> Kind of hilarious. <laughs> Just got to say, hey, I got charged with some shit here, but uh, you come on in. Uh, and seeks releases from patients stating they understand the, uh, they understand the allegations against him. After Perry's death, federal agents and detectives searched Sanga's home. They found approximately 79 vials of ketamine, three pounds of orange pills containing methamphetamine, hallucinogenic mushrooms, and cocaine. Jeez, she was loaded. Sanga appeared in court wearing large round glasses and a bright uh, green baggy Nirvana t-shirt. Oh. Dressing for the event. 
After she pled not guilty, a judge ordered her to be held without bail, saying she was a flight risk. Stengel was previously arrested in March in a separate federal drug, drug, yeah, drug case in which she was accused of being a large volume drug dealer. So she was released on a $100,000 bond. Uh, Iomasa, Perry's 59 year old assistant, ple pleaded guilty on o August 7th to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine, causing a death. He admittedly, or he admitted to repeatedly injecting Perry with ketamine without medical training, including on the day the actor died, according to prosecutors. Chavez, 54, the physician based in San Diego, has agreed to plead guilty uh, to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Prosecutors said he admitted to selling ketamine to Placencia, according to prosecutors. And then Fleming, 54, the acquaintance of, who helped Perry procure ketamine, also pleaded guilty on August 8, to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine and one count of distribution of ketamine resulting in death. He admitted to distributing the ketamine that killed Perry, drugs that he received from Sanga, according to prosecutors. So, uh, yeah, anyways, whatever. this just talks about how he struggled with ketamine and such. So, yeah, we know that he was obviously struggling with uh, with drugs, drug use and such, and ketamine is uh, is a pretty heavy uh, hallucinogen, hallucinogenic drug. So if you're if you built a a pretty big resilience to drugs, I'm sure you got to go after a big chase like like ketamine. So sad to see that basically he was taken advantage of in a down period in his life. People that were close to him, obviously a a, a personal assistant doing things but you know i don't know i guess it would be hard to say no to a guy if you work for him and he said look i need it but that stems the brakes i guess so a little bit more I had to know that something was going to come out about this when a high profile guy dies from a uh, drug overdose somebody's going to have to pull the bag i guess and in this case it's uh these idiots